Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about when you want to witness to somebody or help someone in different ways, different verses. And I figured we could do those maybe once a week or something on the verses that I found. And I'd love it if you would share verses down below on how you do as well to show people God. So grab your Bibles, I got mine. Grab your journal and I'll see you in a sec. So in my little book, I have a couple of books. I always keep, I got a thing where I can put my pencil through and I always try to keep my pencil. I keep sticky notes in my pocketbook so that when I'm witnessing to someone or somebody gives me a prayer request where I need to write a note down because I don't want to forget a prayer request. If somebody asks me to pray, I want to pray. I want to. I don't want to be a liar because I've forgotten and I was, I feel irresponsible if I don't. So that's why I keep sticky notes with me. And in my little book, which I'm going to put a top view down so you can see, I have some verses that I've set up. And then on top, I have different colored tabs. So I'll show you how I use it when I'm talking to someone and hopefully it'll be a help and you can do the same thing with others as well in your own style because everybody has their own styles on how to do things. So I'm going to pause it, put it for the down view and I'll see you in a sec. Okay. So I've got it from the down view and this is the pencil I always keep attached there but when I pull it out it loosens it up so I can open and in the front of it I have let's pull this out I have two other books let's talk about that first and in this I keep I'm not going to open it all the way because there's prayer requests in there a prayer list and a little sticky that says talk to God. It's all about prayer in here. I have two little sticky tabs. I got some washi tape in case something doesn't want to stay. A paper clip in case I need to clip something. And then some verses that uh, I use when I'm writing letters and cards and things like that. Put that down there and this is another uh, like paper clip type thing to mark a page and then in this one let's find a page let's say July I can't let's pull this one off in July I write in each month I write down all the days of the month and then the verse for the month that I pick up, I haven't set up July yet, so this is blank except for the numbers. And then I write down on here different prayer requests. And uh, if somebody calls me or I know somebody's having an upcoming surgery or any of those. So I'm gonna put this back in there because I do have one coming up for July. So I'll move this up here and then in this book here I have um, it starts out it started with a, a Bible study with all of us girls and then I uh, changed it over to a lot of different verses because I found that I carry this one with me and I can have it ready. And the first one is, is Psalms 117, and I wrote out the verse, and some studies, and a prayer. But this is the one I wanted to talk about today. Okay, so I marked it with my rubber band. And in the back, oh, my family's home. Hold on just a second while they come in, because they're usually noisy. So in the back of my book, I have this. And what I have is, if it's a 
a yellow tab, it's protection and peace. If it's pink, it's praise, well, the darker pink. Orange is fear or afraid. Uh, the green, little skinnier ones are lead and guide. The blue, the lighter blue is help. The lime green that's wider is saving grace. And the dark blue is feeling blue. And then the lighter pink is uh, he ca takes care of us. I get stumbled so much. So then I can do the tabs and I can find verses according to this on different topics that somebody might have. So let's put this over here like this. Now this is the lime green and the smaller one, leads and guides. So if somebody's talking to me and they, they're saying they're struggling uh, with God leading them and guiding them, a lot of times I use this verse here and I can know to go to the, there. But I've also had some little tabs that I can put along there, but I've run out. So I can probably make some. <laughs> anyway, it's Psalms 139 and it's verses 23 and 24. And it says, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. And see if there be any wicked way in me. And lead me in the way of everlasting. And I've got two little bird stickers that I had. And this is some um, cardstock that I had. So I cut out a little square that'll fit in there. And I got the little one is me and the bigger one is Jesus. And he's talking to me and leading me. Sometimes we have times in life where we're feeling overwhelmed and we just don't know what to do or how to do it. Or we just feel like something's not right. They don't, we don't feel God's presence or could be a lot of different reasons. But we need Jesus to lead us because we're not quite sure what to do or how to proceed in life. So we want him to lead us. So that's when I do this verse myself. And I tell other people about that verse so that hopefully they'll see and pray this. And I think this is a good one to just pray. Dear Lord, search me, O oh God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. And you can even add in there, Lord, I know you know my thoughts. And you know, and you can see if there be any wicked way in me. Show me if there's something wicked in me. Show me if I need to change something. And lead me to ever to the way everlasting. Show me, am I doing something wrong? Or am I not doing something wrong? And I just need some guidance because I'm not sure which way to go. And then end it with, in Jesus' name I pray. I trust you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So that way we can know. Am I doing something wrong? If I'm not, or if I am, lead me in the right way so that I can be on track and close to you, Lord. Well, that's all I have for this one. Oh, I bumped the camera. I'm so sorry. And in the next one uh, that we do like this, I'll keep on going down my book and show you different ones that might help. Thank you so much for coming along. And I hope it was a help. 
and I hope you will uh, comment below different verses that you find that help you with your witnessing and your own life just like I do thank you so much guys bye bye